Bonjour à tous. Okay, okay, that is everything that I'm going to say in French. Okay, and the fault is Olivier. I tried to do it in, in French, but he told me, uh, don't even try. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do it in English. So the agenda, I'm going to try to simplify. Really, they put 12 minutes. I said 15, seriously, 15 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> the agenda is just simply, listen, in a world that has no growth, how do we bring back growth? So let me start with some pieces of data. This is France, this is a chiffre affaire, sorry, this is volume, and this is in the last five years. Um, and this is PGC, so FMCG. It's not growing. <clears throat> and in value, it's not growing. And here's one thing. I've been living in France enough to know that we do think that we are different. No, we are not. There is no growth. Out there, there is no growth. In Europe, there is no growth. In the developed world, there is no growth. And what happens after the no growth, it is predictable. The first thing that happens is a price war. This is the price war. There has been several years of deflation <coughs> in this country. And what happens after the price war is also predictable. It's a promotional war. And this is where we are. And by the way, we are no different. No different than the rest of the world. Now, Jean-Baptiste, wait for a second. Before I put this, uh, <coughs> this video, I just want you to think that by doing the price war or the promotional war, we may be addressing the wrong problem. Like in the video, Jean-Baptiste, s'il vous plaît. So before we embark, before we embark <clears throat> in solving the wrong problem, we have to address and we have to identify what is the right issue. Before I joined IRI, and some of you know, before I joined IRI, uh, I think it was three years ago, for three years and a half, I was the chief commercial officer at Carrefour. And before that, I was like 20 something years at Procter & Gamble. So I'm going to propose to the industry, and this is something, <clears throat> by the way, you have a premiere, but in the Consumer Goods Forum, um, that it will happen, I think, in a couple of months or in a month and a half, I will be proposing this same thing. When I was at Procter & Gamble, like 15 years ago, <clears throat> there was a visionary, a CEO, his name was Dirk Jagger, that he created an idea, which is, hey, guys, in the supply chain, there is waste. Because you have the industrial, so you have the manufacturers, and then you have the retailers. And we produce and you sell. And in the middle, if we don't work like one, there is waste. So we produce more than there is a consumption. And there is waste. I have your warehouse empty or full. And we don't produce for what the client wants. So why don't we work like one? And that is the beginning of ECR. The beginning of ECR is we work like if we were only one. So what I want to propose is the same thing for the big data. Because the truth is that the retailers have unique assets of data. And the manufacturers have other unique 
assets of data. And then there is in the market other pieces of data that we actually can bring into the table. So what I want to propose to the industry is a new ECR on big data. It's the collaboration, like if we were only one. Because by doing this, it happens three things. The first one is we have less waste. So the advertising is more targeted. The marketing spending is more real. You lose less money when you do marketing. The second thing that it happens is that you target the shopper right. You're really talking to Miss Martin. As a result of that, the third thing that happens is that you have a better ROI and as a consequence, a bigger growth. This is the new way for bringing growth. Now, exactly as Olivier said, I'm going to tell you guys, this is happening out there with the advantage of, you know, I'm, you know, I'm like, I think it's 70% of my time is in the plane. And I've seen it everywhere. And I love France. I am Spanish, but I, love, I have two kids that are French. But we are late. We are late, Carrefour. We are late, Auchan. We are late, Florimichon. Michon. We are late, Pepsi. And now I'm going to do a piece of advertising. Because when the manufacturers and the retailers want to put this continuum of data, they will need a partner. And I will tell you, and the people that know me know that I don't lie, I may be wrong, but I don't lie, is that IRI is the best partner. Why? No, don't laugh. Let me repeat that you don't laugh. IRI is the best, actually the only partner. Why? Because I don't know any other company that has the data, that has the analytics, and that has the technology. And this is what you need. You need to have the data. You have to have the capacity to understand why, so not only what, but also why, and then the technology which will allow you to act fast. There's no other company in the world that has these assets. And I'm going to demonstrate, and this is my last slide, which actually it makes that I'm less than 12 minutes. <clears throat> this is, for the last couple of years, the exclusive or preferred partners that we have in retail in the globe. So just one year ago, less than one year ago, actually several months ago, we signed a preferential agreement with Kroger, which I think is the second largest retailer in the world, and the second one in the US. We have signed, actually, is, you see Marks and Spencer in 2014. In reality, we have signed another preferential agreement with them only a couple of months ago. If you look at this, you will see Globus that is in Germany, Progressive that is in New Zealand, Shell, Safeway in uh, Canada. You will not see any French retailer. <coughs> Actually, I can give you, um, a, a, we are going to keep it within here, okay? So I don't want, this is confidential, guys. Okay, so confidential. I don't want you to speak it up. We have just, it has not been public, but it will be public this week. We have done a preferential agreement also with Walgreens Boots for all the data of Walgreens Boots for the manufacturers. Now, my call to the retailers in France and to the manufacturers in France, the only way to go to growth is not to have a price war, is not to have a promotional war, is to bring a new ECR, a continuum on data that will allow us, will allow you to do a better marketing. 